followed the story of the little girl who shaved her head to support her friend with cancer. She was kicked out of school because it was against school rules and then reinstated by an embarrassed Grand Junction charter school. Well, today, she's here in Denver supporting her friend who's undergoing chemotherapy at Children's Hospital. And 7 News reporter Russell Haythorne is live outside the hospital. Russell, these little girls now on a mission to change school policies when they don't make sense. Yeah, and it hasn't changed its policy yet, and the school just made an exception in this case. 11-year-old Delaney Clements is about to undergo chemo treatments again here at Children's, and just as her friends made the decision to shave their heads in support of her, some of them also made the four-and-a-half-hour drive from Grand Junction to here in Aurora to hold her hand during treatment. At heart, they're all just little girls. But you could call this group wise beyond its years. I'm here to get a blood drawn to see if I could start my treatment today. This is Delaney Clement's fourth battle with neuroblastoma. Delaney's mom is rightfully in awe of her daughter's courage. Delaney kind of looked at me. She's like, why are you so worried? She's like, this is me. I got this. And when Cameron Renfro shaved her head to show support for her best friend. She shaved her head for me to support me and be there for me. Cameron says she was just listening to her heart. It just told me that it was the right thing to do for her. I was really happy that there was somebody there for me so I wasn't alone because people would laugh at me and stare at me sometimes. The school district didn't share their compassion and suspended Cameron for violating district policy. I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> I just think it's really dumb. Public outcry forced the district to quickly reverse its position that shaved heads are a distraction. I don't necessarily believe it is a distraction um, unless you make it a distraction. A third friend, Briley, has now shaved her head too. That makes me feel even better. So I have double the support. A powerful lesson taught by children. Bald is beautiful and your hair doesn't tell your personality. <laughs> Again, the school hasn't changed its policy. It just made an exception in this case. But St. Baldrick's Foundation, one of the leading childhood cancer fundraising agencies in the country, says it's time for this school to wake up. St. Baldrick said today, quote, the whole reason we choose head shaving as our central message is to be in solidarity with kids going through a tough time. Live at Children's Hospital, Russell Haythorn, 7 News. And it just makes sense. Oh, yeah. Social yeah. media just blew up yeah. yesterday with Listen that story. Listen to the kids. Yeah.